a community in mourning. How family and friends are coming together after an unspeakable tragedy in Tulsa. That's where we begin tonight. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Kevin Ogle. And I'm Heather Holman. And for Jolene, an emotional night in Tulsa as loved ones remember and honor the four victims of Wednesday's mass shooting. Doctors Preston Phillips and Stephanie Hewson, along with receptionist Amanda Glenn and patient William Love, were shot and killed when a gunman opened fire inside a medical building. News Force Kaitor K is in Tulsa tonight. Two days after the tragic mass shooting here in Tulsa, multiple vigils were held tonight to pray, heal, and honor the four lives lost. A community praying for healing after the unimaginable. I was crushed. I was absolutely crushed. Four lives lost to a mass shooter in Tulsa Wednesday evening. Dr. Preston Phillips, Dr. Stephanie Hewson, receptionist Amanda Glenn, and patient William Love were shot and killed at the St. Francis Hospital complex by gunman Michael Lewis. Lewis said to be upset about his back pain treatment from Dr. Phillips. Why take four people's lives when it wasn't called for? You know, these people tried to help. Friday evening, hundreds gathered in Tulsa for two vigils praying, singing, and honoring those lost. I cannot imagine what their families are going through. A patient of Dr. Hewson remembering her caring heart. And she was just stellar, the way she worked her, her uh, experience and things with Deb to make her feel better. And, and when we found out that, that she had been shot and passed away, it was just very personal and very upsetting. Heartbreaking. The city of Tulsa hoping that through community, they can make it through these dark times. And Tulsa has always been a community that has come together and supported its people, no matter what the situation. The Tulsa Community Foundation has set up an emergency fund to help those affected by this tragedy. In Tulsa, Kaitor K, Oklahoma's News 4.